In Singapore, sustainable building materials are being applied on an unprecedented scale. The city's Tuas Megaport uses a material called ground granulated blast furnace slag, a byproduct of steel production. The process reduces cement use by 75%. The project uses 5 million cubic meters, about 2,000 Olympic sized swimming pools worth of carbon cured concrete embodied with CO2 that was captured from the concrete manufacturing process. So just imagine the scale of this project. But what's important is that it will save us 1.3 million tons of CO2. And that is equivalent to removing 260,000 petrol cars from the roads permanently. A lot of people think that it will cost an arm and leg to use green materials. But what we have proven is that we can do this safely, reliably at this scale, maybe at a marginal cost escalation. And that's a very important signal to the industry that it is time now to embrace the use of green materials. We've arrived at the dawn of a new industrial revolution, where waste becomes resource, where materials get a valuable second life, or as many lives as possible, and where they are created much more efficiently. The stage is now set to inspire greater adoption and more innovation to help sustain all our material needs for generations to come.